Earlier today, I... It's still today. Okay. Earlier today, I delivered a module, uh, module one of our Intune for Windows training course over on the Alpen Shield Academy. And one of the attendees, Matt, thank you, asked if we could cover hybrid devices in the course. And of course we can. Hybrid enter ID is a thing for too many organizations still. Uh, so we can absolutely include that. And this evening, when prepping for the lab session tomorrow, I realized that my lab isn't hybrid. I had a hybrid lab and then I rebuilt it because stuff expires. I didn't get it back into being hybrid. And with every failure, there is an opportunity. In this case, an opportunity for me to configure Enter ID Connect and to show you how I'm doing it. So let's assume you still have an on-prem environment using Active Directory. It's not hybrid. It's not linked to Azure, Azure AD, Enter ID, the cloud. For the record, they're all the same words. Well, different words meaning the same thing. That means that your users don't have a synchronized identity in Enter ID. So that if they're using any cloud-based email at all, then they're using a different identity, whether that's Entra, Direct, or G Suite or something else. Anyway, this video won't deal with merging identities. Identities that already exist in the cloud ca can be merged with a Active Directory using Enter ID Connect, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. And we're not going to do single sign-on with G Suite either. Today, I'm just going to configure Enter ID to synchronize with Active Directory and walk it through step by step to get my users and their devices synchronized up to my Enter ID tenant. Simples. Let's go. So, I'm at the Enter ID Connect page, and I'll just show you how I got there. On the left hand menu, we have Hybrid Management, and then we have Enter ID Connect. I click that, you actually land at Get Started, but you can very easily Shift yourself down to Connect Sync. Connect Sync is the place you want to be if you want to synchronize your ident user identities and device identities to the cloud. You could look at Cloud Sync if you are using cloud native devices and not synchronizing those. But I have a feeling Matt was talking about hybrid devices when we were talking about Intune enrollment. So I'm going to have to go with Connect Sync in this video. So Connect Sync is where I'm going to go. And you can see we've got quite a few options here. It's not it's not re super easy to configure this. There's a few steps we need to follow, but I'm going to go through it. So it says Sync Status Enabled. It's not enabled. I'll refresh that. <clears throat> I haven't configured Connect Sync on this domain at all. Uh, last sync wasn't an hour ago, and password hash sync. I've never done that. I don't know what that's talking about. Um, I, I don't know why it's saying that. We, um, we go back to get started, and then in access, we not access manage. We have the choice between cloud sync and connect sync. Like I say, I'm going to go with connect sync. We're going to download the sync agent, and we accept the terms and download it. Give it a few seconds to download. Okay, so we have the Azure AD Connect MSI. They didn't bother renaming that file yet, so we're going to grab that, copy it. I need to put it on a share. So it's CM1 share, as you can see there. So I'm going to pop that in this directory here. Okay. Now I need to head over to my config manager box. Now I'm unfortunately having to use config manager as the box that I'm installing these agents on. You don't want to be installing Azure AD Connect, Enter ID Connect on your domain controller for various reasons. Your domain controller is sacred. It is, it's not meant to be touched by Enter ID Connect. So, so is Config Manager though. So my bad, but what I'm demonstrating here is that you can install Enter ID Connect on a machine that isn't your domain controller. I'm not suggesting that you should install Enter ID Connect on your Config Manager server. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. But what I'm showing you here is, is valid nonetheless. So let me just grab this uh, file. And I'm going to install Azure AD Connect 
onto this machine? Choose yes. And yes again. Now I mentioned it wasn't exactly straightforward. They have in they have really made it easy with the express settings. So when I go through this, you will realize it is actually pretty easy. But we need to make sure we click the right buttons. Uh, it's obviously very important that, it, that you get it right because we're synchronizing stuff up to enter ID. I'll choose I agree because I've read and understand the license terms fully and the privacy notice, obviously. I want to choose continue and we get into the express settings. Now we could customize, but let's try express and see what we get. And then we can maybe customize later on if we need to. So we'll choose express. And what it does is it uh, installs the required components and then wants us to connect to enter ID. Now this enter ID um, user needs to be a global admin because that's the reason it's asking for permissions uh, for a login is that it needs global admin permissions. So I'd be global admin and put them in there. Now it mentions that it can also be the hybrid identity administrator. You can use a hybrid identity administrator user if you have if specified that role for a user. That also works, global admin also works. So we'll just choose that and type in the password. Need to do MFA because everything is secure these days, isn't it? So you can see this step was connecting to Azure AD or Enter ID. And then we have ADDS, which is Active Directory Domain Services. This is the username and password for your enterprise administrator. So in this case, I'm gonna go with corp slash lab admin and hope that's the password it is not the password i'll try again i got it right so when you type the correct password for your uh, adds enterprise admin it shows you the domains that are uh, the upn suffixes or domains that are uh, linked. And what you can see is in my case, I have Active Directory UPN suffix of corp.consolso.com because this is a lab tenant. And it actually doesn't have a corresponding Azure AD or Enter ID domain. Same with contoso.com. I don't own either of those domains, so I'm not going to be able to add them to Enter ID. So I have to choose continue without matching. And I'll have to fix that later on where I can uh, add all of my users correct UPN suffix in uh, Active Directory. But for now, I'm going to just go ahead and synchronize those users. And when you see the number of users I've got in my environment, you'll understand why that I didn't really mind. In your case, if, when, if and when you have lots of users or you want this to go right first time, you should probably go back and fix this so that you have a corresponding Azure AD domain with every with with at least one uh, UPN suffix for Active Directory. For now, I want to choose next. I'm just going to install these components. Now, when it talks about components, the last sync. I don't have a sync server. That's weird. I don't think I've got a sync server. Hmm, I think I need to investigate that. Um, anyway, it's going to install the synchronization engine. It's going to install the connector. It's going to configure uh, on-prem connector, enable password hash sync, enable op auto upgrade, and configure synchronization services on this computer. Now, notice it is not going to synchronize devices necessarily as part of this. So we might need to go in later on and add in device synchronization. Let's go ahead and choose install. And what you'll see here is it's installing a load of stuff like SQL. It's installing SQL Express to create a database for Active Directory Connect. It is doing a whole load of stuff. And if you were to use Azure AD Connect, uh, Azure AD Cloud Sync, it wouldn't need any of that stuff. So it might be a better idea if you don't need your devices to synchronize then you could probably just use the easier version, the newer version of Cloud Sync. Let's give this a few moments while it configures the synchronization service, and then we'll come back in. And after just a couple of minutes, it says configuration complete. It has 
completed the configuration of Enter ID Connect. All done. We'll choose Exit. Now, it's tempting to take a look at what it's doing, but if you open up Enter ID Connect, it'll tell you that actually that's paused, the synchronization. So we need to make sure that we don't have Enter ID Connect open when it's in normal day-to-day -day use. So for, for now, I do need to just go in there and make sure that devices are synchronized. So I'm going to go into Configure, and then we have Configure Device Options right here. I'll choose that and choose Next. And then we get to enable hybrid Azure AD join or device write back. In this case, I want to enable hybrid Azure AD join, All right? So I'm going to choose next. And I need to type in my password. This is my Azure AD password or enter ID password, which is next. It verifies that it's uh, correct and opened up the modern authentication dialog box. And I should stop talking while I'm typing. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the password right. See? And then we do modern authentication with a single uh, MFA. There we go. And we're in. And so the next step is device options. We can either configure hybrid, hybrid join or device write back. Like I mentioned, we're doing hybrid join, so we'll choose next. And then we are going to manage Windows 10 or later domain join devices. We're not going to do down level. No, -uh. I'm not even happy to do current level or Windows 10. You know, I'm not, not happy. So definitely not doing down level. We'll choose next. And we need to configure something called a service connection point. Now, the service connection point is configured automatically by Azure AD Connect. We don't really need to care too much about it. It is as simple as choosing the... I say that and I can't choose it. Uh, the authentication service, which is going to be Azure, AD, Azure Active Directory. And then we have to add the credentials for an enterprise admin because it creates the service connection point within Active Directory for this new service. So we can, if we add enterprise admin credentials here, then it does it automatically. Otherwise we can just download this script here and hand that over to an enterprise admin and they can run the script and it'll do the same thing. But I'm gonna just tap in my enterprise admin credentials here. Apparently I'm not. There it is. So I've typed those in and now I choose next. And it configures the SCP for device registration so that devices can register into Enter ID uh, knowing where to go. We choose configure and it goes away and does that. In order to get synchronization to start and then continue, we do need to choose exit and get out of Azure AD Connect. So that's what I've done. And now we can head over to our tenant. So back over to the admin box. And here we have connect sync just there. You can choose that. And it's enabled less than an hour ago. That's exactly what it said before I started configuring this. So never mind. Uh, but there's nothing more to look at there. And we have enter connect health. That's a good place to go. And we can choose. Uh, there's an error. A very scary warning error message there but it's not an error it just says update enter connect it's fine so we can go to sync errors we haven't got any sync errors sync services we have uh, a healthy sync service here and that is uh, enter connect server cm1 so it's in place it's absolutely working fine that's good we will leave that to do its synchronization it will synchronize at some point soon we can make it go faster by opening enter connect and uh the, the synchronization service on cm1 and running some synchronizations but for me i'm quite happy that it will just work in a little while the users that i've got in my tenant are over on the left hand side here you can see i've got a load of uh users here so this one here which is adele v that is uh, 
a cloud user. Same as me, uh, Diego, Grady, Henrietta. These are all cloud users. There are some on-prem users that have already been synchronized. This SQL, this SQL one here. These are all, all on-prem. Test user 2, 3, and 4 are also um, on-prem users that have been synchronized. And you can tell that by going into the user themselves, audit logs, and over in the audit logs, you can see that it was created just a few moments ago by sync cm1, and that's uh, that's added the user there. So that's exactly how this works. And now I have hybrid enter ID set up in my environment so I can use it in my lab tomorrow. See you next time.